In football, there are always some crazy coincidences that leave you dumbfounded. And today we'll be bringing you some of the most insane ones. These are the seven craziest coincidences in football. Let's start with Manchester United and GTA. Man United's success in the Premier League seems to have a weird connection with when the hugely successful video game drops. Every year a GTA game has dropped, Man United have won the league. 1997, 1999, 2001, 2008 and 2013. And that's an interesting coincidence, right? But for this coincidental trend to go on, Manchester United would need to win the Premier League again in 2025 when GTA 6 drops. So the Red Devils have one season left to get their shit together. Do you think this is possible or will this coincidence be dead by 2025? Speaking of being dead, Aaron Ramsey's goals seem to be somehow linked with dead people. It's almost as if it's his goals that send them over the line. When Ramsey scores, we should all be very scared. Okay, maybe not us, but famous people. Within 24 hours of his goals, famous people usually get reported dead. Ramsey scored in May 2011 and Osama Bin Laden died within 24 hours. Okay, maybe we need to thank the former Arsenal man for that one, but sadly, he scored again in October 2011 and boom, Steve Jobs, gone. But it wasn't over. That same month, he scored again and it preceded the demise of Muammar Gaddafi. Four months later, the Welshman scored again. The next thing we know, Whitney Houston is no longer with us. He scored again in November 2013 and Paul Walker crashed. We could actually go on and on. It's just crazy, isn't it? Of course, Ramsey doesn't find it funny. I mean, who would? But there have been about 25 celebrity deaths which happened within 24 hours of Aaron Ramsey's scoring. That is a crazy coincidence. In addition to the names we've already mentioned, there are more famous people who died within 24 hours of a Ramsey goal. Alan Rickman, David Bowie, Nancy Reagan, Rubin Carter, Robin Williams. Sadly, the list goes on and on. A crazy coincidence. But on a more cheerful note, it appears that Cristiano Ronaldo and Lionel Messi are linked beyond their on-pitch rivalry. This one has been talked about a lot, so you probably already know that the age difference between Lionel Messi and Cristiano Ronaldo is the exact same age difference between their first sons. You can go ahead and do the calculations yourself. It's exactly 869 days between Ronaldo and Messi and also exactly 869 days between Ronaldo Jr. and Thiago Messi. Honestly, insane. Could these two boys grow up to have a rivalry like their dads did? Surely not, right? If that happens, it would no longer be a coincidence. That would have to be a reincarnation of some kind. The next coincidence is a really special one. Jurgen Klopp has been responsible for Jose Mourinho losing his job on quite a number of occasions. The special one lost his job as Real Madrid boss after losing to Klopp's Dortmund in the Champions League in 2013. He was sacked at Chelsea in 2015 after losing to Klopp's Liverpool. And believe it or not, he was also fired from his Man United job just after losing to Klopp's Liverpool. Klopp didn't trigger Mourinho's sacking at Spurs, but three times? That's plenty already. Mourinho better avoid playing Liverpool by whatever means if he still wants to keep his job at Roma. But just as it appears that Klopp was Mourinho's nemesis, Hans Jörg Butt was also Juventus' nemesis in some way. For those who don't know the name, Butt was a goalkeeper who played for clubs like Bayern Munich, Benfica, Bayer Leverkusen and Hamburg. But in addition to stopping goals, Butt also had a habit of scoring them. The problem though was that each time he scored in the Champions League, it was always against one team, Juventus. In 2000, he scored for Hamburg against Juventus in the group stage. In 2002, he scored for Leverkusen against Juventus also in the group stage. Then it happened again in 2009 when Hans-Jörg Butt scored against Juventus, this time for Bayern Munich, yet again in the group stage of the Champions League. This is definitely a coincidence Juve hate. A goalkeeper scoring against you once is bad enough, but three times in the biggest club competition in the world? Damn! Let's now step down from the Champions League and into the Europa League. There's a pretty interesting coincidence that occurs each time Atletico Madrid wins the competition. Listen to this. They won it in 2010 and that season Man United finished second in the Premier League and Chelsea won the FA Cup. They won it again in 2012 and again Man United finished second in the Premier League and Chelsea won the FA Cup. Guess what? In 2018 we saw a repeat of this exact same pattern. Atletico Madrid Europa League champions, Man United Premier League runners-up and Chelsea FA Cup winners. 
Perhaps Chelsea have to start praying for Atleti to win the Europa League again, because since 2018 the Blues have gotten to the final of the FA Cup three times and have lost each time. It seems like they really need Atletico to win the Europa League so they can win the FA Cup again. Now here's another crazy coincidence guys. For 40 years now both Bayern Munich and Inter Milan have had at least one representative in the World Cup final. In 2022 there was Lautaro Martinez for Inter and Upamecano for Bayern. In 2018 there was Brozovic for Inter and Tolisso for Bayern. 2014 almost the entire Bayern first 11 got to the World Cup final and then there was Rodrigo Palacio there to represent Inter Milan. 2010 had Schneider for Inter and Robin for Bayern. We could keep going back up to 40 years but I think you already get the point. Insane coincidence. Now this one has already been shattered but we just had to include it. Until 2018, since Pep Guardiola became a coach, the World Cup has always been won by the country he was coaching in at the time. In 2010, he was coach of Barcelona and Spain won the World Cup for the first time. By 2014, he was coach of Bayern Munich and Germany won the World Cup. But this little coincidence got ruined in 2018 when France won the World Cup while he was coach of Man City. But hey, while he was in Manchester, England got to the final of a major tournament for the first time in a long, long time. So that should count for something, shouldn't it? Anyway, are there more crazy coincidences you know of in football? Share them with us in the comments. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Also, turn on the bell notification so you never miss out on new content and we'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.